everybody, Mark with Northstar. Today I'm going to go over the um, VNAV function on the Garmin Perspective. So I'm going to show you how to set the, the VNAV up, how to catch the VNAV if you uh, blown th have blown through it, and also how to use the uh, Direct 2 VNAV, um, a lot of people don't know about. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start here on the ground, show you how to set it up, and then we'll go through a couple things in the air so you can see how it actually works. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to flight plan. I'm currently at uh, Kilo Uniform Kilo Foxtrot. Put in my destination, which is Concord Regional, KJQF. All right, so I plugged that waypoint in, and you can see the dashed, dashed box right there. Whenever you do the VNAV, you always need to select a waypoint. So we select the waypoint, you can see that the long track offset light comes on. If I move it down off of that, ATK offset goes away, move it up. All right, so I have my long track offset. What I can do now is I can press a long track offset. That brings up this. So what this is, is it's saying how many miles before I change this by a turn the little knob, how many miles before Concord you want to be at whatever altitude you're going to put in. So if I want to cross Concord at, say, ATC gave me a crossing restriction, cross Concord at 4,000 feet. I could set minus zero and set 4,000 for my altitude. As I'm doing VFR, I'm going to say four miles before Concord. Then I'm going to press enter. Brings a dash box over here to the altitude. So for the altitude, I'm going to put in a field elevation. I'll say pattern altitude, so 1,700 feet. So just be careful when you put it in. I'll clear it here. When you put it in, it goes in in hundreds. So you just want to hit 17 or 1,700. You don't want to hit 1,700. So it goes in as hundreds. Or you could also use the, the knobs to turn it in. I'm going to press Enter. All right, now I'm going to hold down the Clear button. And I'm going to go take a look at it. If I range out here, I can tell that it's set up. <clears throat> because I've got the square box here. This is my minus 4 waypoint. And once we get going, we're going to see a TOD as well. All right, so that's the basics of how to set it up. Now uh, let's go fly and see how it works in real life. All right, everybody, we are back in the air here. And I'm going to go to our flight plan to show you what we have set. We have KGK, KJQF, four miles before 1,700. So if we look at the uh, flight plan here, we can see what that looks like. You can see there's a TOD point. And there's a box that says minus four. So this is the point we're going to be at 1,700. This is where it's going to tell us to start our top of descent for our current ground speed. And that will vary, and it will vary our descent rate on the way down to make sure we're at that minus 4 at the altitude we set. You don't have to worry about that right now. The vertical speed target is 453 feet. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to set in the uh, VOR over here, the Barrett's Mountain VOR. Uh, just makes it a little bit more realistic for an IFR, and uh, I'll show you how to work through the system. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and load that in. i delete this waypoint. Alright, Barrett's Mountain is BZM. Alright, so we're going to say ATC told us to proceed direct to Barrett's Mountain. So I'm going to go direct to Barrett's Mountain. And switch us over to NAV here. Alright, so we are proceeding direct to Barrett's Mountain. Now ATC calls me up and says, uh, proceed direct to Barrett's Mountain, cross Barrett's Mountain at 2,500 feet. All right, so now we have a crossing restriction, so we need to utilize our long track offset. We're going to go down here. We have Barrett's Mountain highlighted. We're going to go down here to AKT, ATK offset. I'm going to press it. It brings up my box zero. So that's going to put me at Barrett's Mountain. So that's fine with me. You could do it a mile or two before if you wanted to. I usually just do it at zero. All right, and ATC's told me at 2,500 feet. So remember, it goes in as 100, so I'm going to use my keypad, and I'm going to press 25. All right, 2,500, I'm going to press Enter. It creates the waypoint. So let's go back to our flight plan here and see what that looks like. All right, you can see I have our little, our blue pointer there. I have that set on 60 seconds. And the reason I do that, you can change that in the menu. So if you go to Menu, Map Setup, the Map, you go down here to the track vector, I have it set on 60 seconds. The reason I do that 
because 60 seconds before we get to our top of descent point, we're going to get that audible to set the airplane up. So we can see we're about two minutes from that right now. Vertical track. All right, there's our vertical track. You can see it says TOD within one minute. So that means we need to configure the airplane. So we need to do a couple things here. First, we need to do VNAV. If we do not press VNAV, it will not activate it and it will not go down. We press VNAV, we come over to our PFD and you can see there's 2,500 set up here in Magenta. We're at 4,000. So we need to set our altitude bug at 2,500. That's our target altitude. You could set it at 3,000. It would descend down to 3,000 and capture it. So you can change this, you know, that's your target that you have set, but you could always set it at 3,000 if you wanted to. If you didn't want to go as low, it'll still follow this down. So once that comes in, the aircraft's going to start down. It's going to vary its descent rate for our ground speed to make sure we're at over right, So we're going to do a, a VFR one now. I'm going to do the ATK offset. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do 15 miles before, or 20 miles before, just because we're getting close. One seven. Typically, I would set that up on one three or uh, three miles if it was VFR at pattern altitude. That works out pretty well normally. Vertical track. All right, so I've hit my vertical track. So I'm going to hit VNAV. We're going to assume I didn't get to VNAV quick enough. I'm going to do my altitude select to 1,700 though. All right, 1,700. We can see. I'm coming through my, my vertical path. I'm going to let it blow through. We'll say I missed it for whatever reason. All right, so now I hit my vertical path. And you can see it's armed, but it's not going to capture it. So I need to give it a way to get down there. I'm going to do vertical speed. I'm just going to set minus 600, which will give me enough to catch it. You can see vertical path is in the arm, the arm box up there because it's white. We're in vertical speed right now. So the airplane's starting to descend. All right, so we're coming up on the vertical path. You can see it did capture it. Vertical path, and now it's going to take me down and put me at my 20 miles before Concord at 1,700 feet. What I'll show you is a um, different function. Um, we work with the ATK offset, which is down here we can do crossing altitude. So we're going to do that. We're going to do a variation of that this time. What we're going to do is we're going to say that ATC told us to cross Barrett's Mountain at 2,500. So we're going to go ahead and set that up again. ATK offset. Set minus zero because they said cross Barrett's. And we're going to go over here and they said at, I'll say 2,500. Press enter at my top of descent. That's going to take me to, to Barrett's Mountain. It will be at Barrett's Mountain at 2,500 feet. All right, well, let's say either I'm VFR going into an airport and I want to start my descent at a different point, or ATC says, go ahead and start your descent to Barrett's Mountain. Well, I'd either have to kind of guesstimate how many miles out I needed to start it, or I can use a different button. It's a VNAV direct button. So when you do press this, things are going to happen relatively quickly. What we're going to need to do is we're going to hit VNAV on the autopilot, and we're also going to need to change our altitude select. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to hit VNAV direct. It says, do we want to activate it? I'm going to hit enter. Down at VNAV, the autopilot, 1,500. You can see the vertical path is coming in. Vertical path is captured. It's going to take us down and put us at Barrett's Mountain at 2,500. And you can see our v vertical speed required is 186 when normally it's around 500. All it does is adjust your vertical track for whatever you need. So if you have a vertical nav in there, at any point you can hit VNAV direct. VNAV on the autopilot. Set your altitude bug and it will capture and take you down and put you at whatever fix, whatever point you select. Hey, don't forget to visit us at uh, on Facebook at Facebook slash or Facebook dot com slash North Star Arrow, and also on uh, YouTube. Our YouTube channel is YouTube dot com slash North Star Arrow. I save.